the smile of the appreciation for the way that my creator God loves on me, smiles on me, validates me, enriches me, and does all that for you as well. I am Astarius Miraculi, and I'm here to share some eclipse wisdom. Yesterday we had a new moon lunar, or excuse me, solar eclipse. The new moon is always the solar eclipse where the sun and the moon conjoin one another. Did so in the sign of Gemini and the eclipse frequency can carry a tremendous amount of power for a period of up to six months. Whenever we're dealing with the resonance of an eclipse, we have an accountability to address some of the things that may have been hidden. When eclipse is always associated with, to some extent, a blocking out of the light. But the blocking out of the light is a representation of the sacred void, a cocoon of eternal blackness out of which everything emerges. The eclipse frequency is associated with the womb of your soul, the womb of my soul, the womb of creation. It can also be a tremendous amount of shadow energies and painful energies when approached with a sense of irresponsibility and a lack of the awareness that we are in charge of the unfolding of our lives. We create and co-create our lives into expression 100%. With this eclipse being in the sign of Gemini, it's important that we look at some things associated with communication. Gemini is always about communication. Gemini is also very much aligned with intellect. And eclipse energies being the resonance of the moon is always deeply aligned with emotionality. And so we have a sacred accountability to bring about a synergy 
between the intellect and our emotionality. Emotionality and our feeling nature is in alignment with intuition. Intuition is a feeling frequency. That's why we refer to it as a gut feeling. And a, a term that I have coined, I call it sacred guts on the table. When we are in the resonance of emotional honesty, in the vibration of eclipses, whether they be a new moon eclipse or a full moon eclipse, always having this association with emotionality, we must come into resonance with our feeling nature. Feelings are the seat of being because feelings are subjective. And when we're dealing with the energies of the eclipse, we are at resonance with our subjectivity. And that which is subjective is relative to that which is inside. And so these energies become a catalyst for our diving deep down into our central core, the inner sanctum of our being. For we are the subject sitting inside of our experience, living and moving and having our being. And so we want to go deep sea diving into the ocean of our own self and discover the treasure chest of greater insights about how to unfold down the corridors of our life and our forever. This solar eclipse, new moon in Gemini is in square relationship with the planet Neptune, which means that some of the energies that we'll be dealing with will feel like not having a foundation underneath us. Also want to point out that Mercury went retrograde at the end of May and it went retrograde in Gemini and so this solar eclipse is connecting with the Mercury retrograde point. So eclipses and retrogrades always create a situation of turning in energy inward. The veils are more thin between the dimensions. It enables us to more powerfully interact with the other dimensionality, the all dimensionality, the eternality, and the omnipresence of life. We have now the opportunity to dance in the resonance of being aligned with the reality of ourselves as an eternal being un unfolding down the corridors of forever an omnipresent being evenly present everywhere the opportunity to be aware of the fact that we have a center that is everywhere the central core of our being is everywhere and the circumference of our being is nowhere because we are like unto the universe in its eternal expansion we also are in a state of eternal expansion and the the deepest resonance of this eclipse energy when we pierce to the center where only light dwells just like the eye and the I am of the storm then we are able to access that resonant connection with the all that is the all dimensionality of our being the eternal nature of our being and our omnipresence we have a center that is omnipresent evenly present everywhere 
which is why there is this at one moment with every other being in the whole of existence. And the Neptune energy feeding into this solar eclipse, Neptune is the resonance of the oneness of the wholeness, the all dimensionality, that which is interconnected with every other being, which is one of the reasons why when people have strong Neptune, Neptunian or Piscean energies, there is this empathicness of picking up the vibrations of other people as if it's your own soul during this experience of solar eclipse we will be more empathic than usual so when someone asks you for something your time your money or whatever good to say gonna sleep on it gonna meditate on it I'll get back with you make your decision out of proximity with the one that's asking you for that because then you have a clearer response as to what reflects your highest integrity sometimes if you say the snap yes while you're being yet in their company you're so overshadowed with their energy confusing their energy to be your energy and feel like you have to comply with what they're asking you for and it leads you to saying an unsacred yes better to say the sacred no which is then in alignment with your integrity than to say the unsacred yes so I'm going to now offer some frequencies of sound for the purpose of aligning positively with these energies and calling them forth to become servant unto our expansion and the highest resonance of our being. <laughs> heights of heaven's land we now invoke the master plan because it's our divine birthright we're given back our cosmic side at dawn of life we were so high with angels we did fly we now ascend to higher plane the ancient times come again it is in the name of holy peace that all our blessings now increase our great abundance now comply with power of our single eye we bless the darkness, make it right, reverse the tide, and free the light. God, Goddess, make our power ever pure, else let the power not endure. Our being knows no limit, we are God, Goddess, within. Hear ye, O seeker. Play not a game of chance. Maintain a lofty attitude to conquer lowly circumstance. Some circumstances seem so bad, though goodness in disguise is up to us to see the good or else be victimized. For if a circumstance seems down, 
and we reject it with a frown. That circumstances then compel to pull us down in mental hell. But if we keep our mind on high, despite the pain of circumstance, up with our attitude the circumstance rises and beyond its pain, we then advance. Bitter circumstance is as a medicine to bring the wellness of a learned lesson. But we must swallow this medicine down to receive the healing and achieve the blessing. For if we spit this medicine out, life gives another dose without a doubt. Then we become victim of circumstance, a tyrant from which we can't advance until we learn to face it with a smile, drink that bitter cup and go the extra mile so that all things may be enhanced because your attitude is more important than circumstance. I'm going to bring forth the didgeridoo and as I do I want you to align me with me in co-creation to clear all of the adverse energies within our world, clear all of the adverse energies within your individual being and know that you are a benefactor of the whole of the universe. You got the universe's back and the universe has got your caboose. Did you redo for you and me and the all that is? <clears throat> Creator Source, I thank you, my beloveds in Cyberland. I am so honored that you are of the presence of mind and heart to remember who you are, 
to remember where you're from, what you're for, that you are divine, what was lost you have now found. I am so honored that you are of the knowingness that you make a monumental impact upon the expansion of life, that life is better by virtue of you. I am so honored that you are in the knowingness that you are an amazing gift unto Creator Source that is unduplicatable, that Creator Source gets something from you that God can't get anywhere else. I am so honored that you are of the awareness that the craziness of the pandemic and COVID, its days are numbered, it has a shelf life and will not stand the test of eternity. But you will and I will we will. I am so honored that we are of this eternal remembrance. So honored that we are of the awareness that we are cellular co-creator of all that is created. That we have a hand in every amazing creation. That we are cellular co-giver of every good deed that ever takes place. I am so honored that we are of the up-leveled gratitude and self-esteem in the knowingness that we have a co-creative hand in all of the wonderfulness of life that unfolds down the corridors of forever. I am so honored that we are of the presence of mind and heart to love ourselves with the passion of heaven. I am so honored that we are of the remembrance to align with a little elder, the inner child within us. For me, it's baby Astarius and little Miraculi. So honored that we are of the knowingness that the seat of our godhood is in our inner childhood. So honored to know that we are ceasing to beat up on ourselves and criticize ourselves because we are clearly aware of the fact that when we're beating up on ourselves that we are engaging in inner child abuse. And we don't want to draw back and punch a little one-year-old reflection of ourselves in the face. Thank you, beloved, for joining me in co-creation. Thank you for remembering who you are and coming home to yourself. I am Astarius Miraculi. Be sure and surf my website. I have a great number of musical albums and a couple of books available there. Everything you hear me reciting are things that I have written, most of which are in my book, Miraculi, Song of Ascension. Be sure and check out my astrological post, Wisdom of Astrology. That's from my book, uh, Feast of the Zodiac, Wisdom of Astrology. Thank you for partaking of my creations and playing in the field of win-win. I am available for intuitive astrological readings as well as sound healing transmissions with didgeridoo and vocal harmonics. And um, located in the Red Rocks of Sedona, thank you for your comments. And thank you for sharing this forward. If it has moved you, when you share it forward, then it expands the quickening that you individually receive. I love you with the passion of heaven. Fly well on the wings of ascension. <sighs> Happy eternal new moon solar eclipse.